right. How have the guys responded in practice? What do you think of the challenge ahead and the opponent? Well, you know, it was a disappointing loss for us, but um, we're looking forward to, to this week. It's going to be a big challenge. Their, fir their first year head coach, first home game. Um, they're going to be riled up and ready to go. We understand that. We got to just try to find a way to open up the floodgates. You know, that's what we're telling our team is I think once we hit the, hit the end zone, then we'll gain some confidence and, um, and we'll get going. But, um, you know, it was a tough week last week, but um, we're regrouped. We're, we've got a new game plan and we're, we're going to go up there and try to um, perform at a lot better a lot better level than what we did this past week. Do you think it was kind of just a matter of some drop balls here and there that kind of made things spiral out of control for the offense? You know, I don't know. I, you can't make excuses. You know, I got I to gotta take the blame. We didn't move the ball the way I thought we would. Um, we didn't, surely didn't run it. We got to have more balance. Uh, but I thought Blake played good early. Um, if you look at his first 15, 20 plays, he had some really positive plays there. Um, those two drops were big, you know, you're probably on at midfield or beyond. And those two drives, the first two drives, now you gain momentum. Uh, that one explosive play on both of those would help you uh, finish a drive and, and score some points. But, um, but yeah, then once we settled in, man, they just said, hey, we're playing some man coverage. Let's see if you can beat us. And they got the lead and then it got even tougher. Every series we went back out there, it got tougher and tougher because now they could pin their ears back. And um, the deficit kept getting bigger and bigger. And, we didn't handle that very well, and again, we didn't keep it balanced, and um, that's on me, and we got to make sure that, that we do that and we run the football this Saturday. That's going to be a big key for us. Coach, how much of the blame do you take for what happened in the I'm the OC, so I take all the blame. Listen, that's all on my shoulders. I'm fine. I've, I've been in that position before. I got shut out before. Uh, it, it didn't feel good, and sure, sure last night, uh, last Saturday, or last Friday night, didn't also. I was very disappointed in our performance. Um, we got a lot of work to do. Um, this system is a little bit different from what everybody, what everybody runs in college football. It's more of a pro style, a lot of thinking, a lot of going through progressions and, and receivers sort of changing their routes on the run. So it takes a little bit of time, um, but uh, you know, I've, I've incorporated this thing three or four times now in new system, in new teams. And um, we've been able to handle it, we'll handle it, we'll get, we'll get up to speed. We just need some success with it. Um, Johnny missing the game was big for us. We had a lot of stuff on him to handle some of their man coverages. He's a great man beater for us. And with him being out, it really put a lot of extra emphasis on other guys. And, and um, he really, I think, sort of frees up the team because he's got so much ability running and throwing the, and, and catching the football. Do you feel like you have the right personnel to fit into this style of offense? Well, you know, there's, other, there's things I'd like to have better. Um, you know, that, it took us three years of out of state to get the people we wanted. But um, listen, we got some very talented kids, some experienced kids. Um, they've been in other systems. Now they got to learn this one. And even though you're a junior, senior, it's a brand new system. And so it's totally different than probably any other thing they've had in their life. Uh, so we got to understand that. I've got to understand that as, a, as, a, as offense coordinator, make sure we get them in the right plays and, and the right game plan for them to be successful. And that's, that's on me. You've had ups and downs all throughout your career. What's been kind of the message to the guys this week after Wisconsin? Well, all I know to do is you put it in the past and, and you learn from it. And we, we have shown them the film. But listen, you just got to work a little bit harder and you got you to continue to believe in yourself. You can't lose confidence. Uh, this team really understands. I think if you heard their quotes and I've heard them say it to me, hey, we still know that this offense can be dynamic. They understand that. They have confidence in that. And that's good to see. And, um, you know, they understand when they watch the film where we made the mistakes at. Now we got to correct those mistakes and make sure that we go out there and execute at a better level um, this Saturday. Kerwin, um, Mitch didn't get a lot of targets. Did it become a situation where you just needed him for blocking purposes? Did they pin their ears back? Yeah, and some of it was. You know, we tried to help out with some of our tackles with him, chipping a little bit so he didn't get out as much as we wanted him to. But, um, uh, and then we went some flush personnel later in the game, um, just trying to work on some of our base stuff out of that personnel. But um, no, he's got to be a better, a bigger. That's that's on me. We got to get him more targets. We got to make sure Johnny gets targets. Eddie McDoom's got to find a way to get get going. You know, he had that big drop early, but we got to keep going to him. Uh, Cronkite's got to. We we got to we got to run the football, and he's got to be a big part of what we do to keep us balanced. And uh, so there's a lot of work. There's a lot of things we got to get done, and we got to start that this Saturday. Do you believe in the adage that? Teams make their greatest improvement from game one to game two. <laughs> well, I've heard that, and I, I, really, I believe that. I've seen it as a, as a coach. I, my teams have always, you know, it feels, feels like we – and really good things when you play good people yeah. because, man, there's no, nothing to hide after you get through playing a team like that. And Wisconsin was a really good football team. You know, we uh, we had done some things early in preseason camp, but we hadn't went against the kind of team that we were going against defensively. The defensive backs, the up-front guys, the way they could get after you. So now we, we say, hey – 
Even though we may not play a team like that the rest of the year, there's a lot, there's some things we got to address, some de deficiencies, and some things maybe we can't do right now. Maybe we're not ready for some things. We got to back off and maybe take baby steps and maybe just get us through a few games, get us going, and then go and, 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 and evolve from there. And so you learn a lot about yourself and maybe where you need to back up and take some more baby steps and uh, make sure that you've given your team the best chance to go out and perform. I know it's, it's not an excuse, but did y'all learn kind of late in the game that Johnny wasn't going to be available? Uh, no, it was, we knew a little bit out, you know, um, that week, you know, sometime. Um, but yeah, I had, I had some things in for him and, and uh, yeah, it was big for him. He's a, he's a dynamic player and um, hopefully we can get him one this Saturday. Thank you very much.